Hey guys, this is just a short little video I just threw together. Uh, I didn't have the time to script it, um, and I, I think that we may not get to mention it on Honey Badger Radio, so I'm just going to mention it here. Um, you may have heard of the case, if you've you know watched our channel, you may have heard of the sexual assault case um, of Sawad Fares where she, this is the woman pictured on the right, not Daenerys, had accused Mark Pearson of sexually assaulting her on a train station. And what resulted was the fact that Mark Pearson couldn't possibly have done it. They had camera footage. He uh, would have to have been in multiple places at once and perhaps have multiple limbs and able to pull it in, or, in order to be able to pull it off. So she made a ridiculous false claim. And there were some really weird things around the case. Uh, for example, while she was there, no one was allowed to see her face while she made her testimony. She was behind a curtain. They only were able to see her hand. This was to protect her identity, I suppose, even though everyone knew who she was. When it was found that Mark Pearson was innocent of the crime, he was set free under the condition that he never say Sawad Fares's name again anywhere in the UK under threat of, I guess, um, legal recourse. So she had to be Voldemort, essentially, after this case had ended. And this was a couple of years ago. Mark Pearson was at the uh, International Conference on Men's Issues, talking about his experience. Erin Pitsy was with him through the whole thing. And Erin uh, herself didn't have a problem dropping Sawat Fares' name, just as I don't have a problem saying it now. And then this happened. This week on Twitter... Several people that had tweeted about Sawad Fares, no matter when they did it, if they did a tweet about her in regards to this sexual assault case, they were suspended. So here is Margaret McLennan trying to figure out why she got locked out of her Twitter for this tweet that she made two years ago on the topic of Sawad Fares. Here's a screenshot of it. They've locked her out of her account for this tweet. Game of Thrones actors who doesn't understand what rape is. Ha ha ha. Sawad Fares, do you even watch your own show? Richard Jackson. So clearly a Gamergate supporter. Also had his tweet removed and was suspended. And this goes on. Hannah Wallen was suspended. She's one of the Badgers because she mentioned the Sawad Fares um, case. And I'm sure that there are likely others. So if I just want to let you guys know that if you are talking about Sawad Fares's case on Twitter, you will likely get suspended. So it's probably um, something to consider. Maybe you don't care. And you want to get suspended anyway, it might bring some more um, attention to this. But I wanted to make a video because I don't think that the people with the larger channels, you know, that usually talk about things like censorship, they probably don't know that this happened. Um, and they may not, they may, may not talk about it. So I'm talking about it now. And uh, yeah, so just uh, take care.